What's up guys? My name's the Puppy Poker Trainer. You can call me Ash Ryan and welcome on in for episode 91 of our Persona 5 Royal series. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing absolutely flipping fantastic. We are still just trying to stay alive. <laughs> really and truthfully. We really do need to get some uh, money though. It doesn't look like we can hang out with EY. Ohia isn't up though. You know what? She might be worth it. Hold on. I want to look at one thing in particular. We're going to look at confidants. Let's find hers. There she is. We'll get unpredicted, unprecedented scoop, which allows to begin with low security when infiltrating a palace. Okay. Um, I guess that's okay. Oh. <gasps> Who's in Kichi Joji? A catchy, but he's a block. He's blocked off. I think we need to go hang out with o with Oya. We really need to hang out with Ifumi, but I think we, we need to hang out with Oya. So let's go ahead and head over to Shinjuku. Let's go to the... I should have just gone straight across her. That's fine. I'll face in mind. Wait for you to throw... Yep, we can't hang out with her anyway. But let's just pop in here to Crossroads. Off my mask. No place to hide. Come on, talk to Oya. There we go. Let's see. Rubbing off on me. Okay. The higher-ups are starting to get tired of one-off articles. You have anything good to share? Let's go. And I do have a persona with me for her, so we are good to go. So that ace detective is serious, huh? I see. Oh yeah, there's something I need to apologize for, to you for. You know, it's part of my job to research particular things. Hello, Roscoe. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I ended up finding out about your criminal record. I realized you weren't just some ordinary kid back with my chief. So I did some digging out of curiosity and I found a ton more than I was expecting. So, sorry about that. <laughs> I have to say, though, the ruling made in your case was really odd. Some kind of deal must have gone down behind the scenes to make sure that was the end result. That must have been tough for you to handle. You're just a kid. Well, forget about the past. We're in the same boat when it comes to being labeled. Because of your investigation? Because of your incident? Are you sure we're the same? Because of your incident? Exactly. I made a vow to avenge my partner for... Oops. <laughs> lava chan refill. No, it's your turn to tell the truth. There you go, Lala. You can't go rooting around in the kid's past and expect to keep your own secrets hidden. Lala's got a point. Wait, don't blame me for that. He doesn't have anything to do with my private business. I'm curious. You can trust me. You can trust me. I mean, it's not like I don't trust you and- Hold on a sec. Why am I getting treated like the bad guy? Look, you're going to feel better talking to, to someone who understands exactly what you're going through. Besides, you'll explode if you keep all that alcohol-fueled anxiety bottled up in you. <laughs> he is losing his mind. That's true, and I guess this is the fairest course of action for our business partnership, huh? Roscoe, what is going on? You must see the neighbor kids. Back when I covered politics for my publisher, I had a partner who helped me with photography. Kayo. Uh, we were a pretty well-known team in the industry. We blew the lids off countless scandals together. That is, until the day came. We were on that tri the trial of a certain bureaucrat who was involved in a slush fund of s to support refugees. He kept himself pretty well guarded, so it was almost impossible to get any solid leads on the guy. Then one night, I got a voicemail from Kayo saying she'd gotten a hold of something big. And that was the last I ever heard from her. The next day, that bureaucrat was found dead at a love hotel, and Kayo had gone missing. What was the cause of death? Who killed him? <clears throat> what was the cause of death? Well, the cause of death is unknown. The authorities couldn't tell whether it was a murder or a suicide. As for the killer, the police accused Kayo. They said she killed him in a crime of passion. It's impossible, though. She never would have slept with a disgusting man like that. 
And more importantly, it's pretty damn messed up to make allegations like that without any evidence. Ichiko. Sorry. The case was closed, but we never found the truth. Hinkaya was labeled a professional disgrace. And since we were partners, the company decided it would be best to move me to another department. I'm going to prove Kayo's innocent th innocence, though. That's why I'm conducting my own private investigation now. This sounds like defamation. That's unforgivable. How's your search going? Sounds like defamation. Funny. Uh, exactly. Funny how common stuff like that's become... How common stuff like that's become these days. Okay. But thanks to all the info you've been giving me, I should have more time to focus on my investigation. I won't let this opportunity slip through my fingers. Alright. We're even now. I didn't enjoy it, though. <laughs> you sure about that? It's been ages since I've seen you smile as much. Well, maybe you're right. I haven't felt this alive in a long time. Okay, then. I'll write a great article to commemorate our sharing passions. Exclusive the Phantom Thieves' lofty ideals in connection with a secret society. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't worry. I'll definitely come up with a better headline before we go to print. <laughs> wow. Allows you to begin with a low security level when infiltrating a palace. There's still just one thing that bothers me. There's no doubt the chief is on my investigation. Maybe we should keep acting like a couple so we can trick him. How's that sound? Oh, leave the kid alone. Hey, it's getting late. Shouldn't you be heading home by now? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Did not want to deal with that. <laughs> Crazy lady. <sighs> hey, kid, can we talk? I'm sorry about earlier. Really, for me, digging into your records and such without asking, I mean, I don't mind it as long as I'm compensated. I did the same to you. True. This is a two-way street. And don't worry, I won't l leak this stuff about about you to anyone. It's my duty and pride as a journalist to protect my sources at all costs. I'm actually great, making great progress on my private investigation thanks to you. I'll be needing your help later, too, so I can find out what really happened to Kayo. So, yeah. Here's to helping each other out. Bye-bye. <laughs> She's a hard one for me. Oh, no movements. No movement. Officer, look. <laughs> oh my goodness. Makoto, has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking the Ketchikun. For real? There it is. Aren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous, but without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network. Nope. And I can no longer <laughs> rely on my sister for information. Nope. Wait. Is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? Bold <coughs> I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? It's a gamble, and the odds are less than favorable, but we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite a Ketchikun? Do it. It should be fine. You're sure about this? I'll leave it to you. Should be fine. Okay, then. Is everyone else okay with that? Let's do it! I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. He's right. How are we even gonna get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. Watch him be downstairs. Actually, I do. For real? <laughs> There's another one, Carlos. I'll contact him right away. Gotta say, I'm really not big on this Akechi deal. Oh, no, we're not either. No time to be petty. 
Just think of him as a source of intel, nothing more. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec. Didn't he say he wasn't going to do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. And what are we going to do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it, no matter what. We're counting on you, Makoto. Do it! Nijima! Alrighty. Who would have thought we would end up relying on a catchy? ADP matter? Uh, I don't know what to do. Can we talk about it? Looks like Bond's gonna perform with Chihaya. Let's go talk to her. So the chairman's pushing me as hard as ever to sell those fake stones. I've been trying to use this as an opportunity to investigate into the ADP seminars so I can expose him. But the deeper I dig, the scarier everything becomes. How so? What have you found? What have you found? Um... Oh, excuse me. The ADP apparently doesn't profit very much from the sale of the Holy Stones. It's nothing more than a front. Most of their revenue actually comes from the seminars. There they give their patrons some sort of mind-altering drug. After which, they're encouraged to donate their life savings to the benefit of the ADP. People have even gone missing after seminars. Families have been torn apart by this madness. And I... I was a part of it all. By selling those fraudulent stones, I was in direct support of those horrible actions. I know this doesn't make up for what I've done, but I want to help the others come to their senses. Barely anyone within the ADP will talk to me, though. And those who do won't actually hear me out. What should I do, Sugawara-san? These people are all heading down a path toward great ruin. There has to be some way I can deal with the chairman. Right, I'll just have to admit to everything that's been going on, even if I get dragged down to. That's the only way. She's not... A, she might do something rash. I should take care of the chairman before that happens. I'm the only one who can stop him, right? What's his first name? The chairman? Yuichi. Don't worry about it. How strange it seems the cards have changed somehow. My future is in line with that of the trickster? What does that mean? Even so, my fate remains unchanged. I am destined to stay a monster. I need to take care of the chairman. There we go. So we got a new request for mementos. Good night. So we won't be able to hang out with her again until we get that done. Oh, we dropped again. Ironically, to the 24th on the 24th. <laughs> Kasumi! Um, well... Senpai, have you been sleeping well? You look kind of tired. It might not be my place to ask, but are you okay? I'm fine. Yes. Well, alright then. Oh, that reminds me! The school festival is tomorrow, isn't it? I had no idea that the prep preparations would take so much work. I underestimated it. Well... But working with everyone to put it, everything together feels great. I hope we all have a fun time tomorrow. Well, I'm going to do some training today, so please excuse me. She's so sweet. So polite. And so sweet. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. You hear who we're getting as our guest speaker this year? Oh, you mean a catchy, right? I kind of saw that coming. Everyone I know voted for him. Didn't he say he wasn't going to make any more appearances, though? Why did he agree to come here? It probably has something to do with the Phantom Thieves. Wasn't a kitschy going around saying how evil they were before? Oh yeah, that proves they're connected to our school somehow then. Hey, you're right. Maybe he'll tell us uh, some stuff of, about the case. No way I'm going to miss this panel this year. They just say whatever they want with no thought. But for now, we'll, we'll just need to endure it. At least until we can get some more intel. Bam, bam. Maruki! I met a friend from college the other day. We got caught up talking about old times. Some of those old stories sounded too crazy to be true now that we've got so many years behind us. Sometimes people have a hard time remembering what's real and what's exaggerated. This kind of stuff happens to you guys too, right? But there's a reason for this. This phenomenon has a name too. Alright, Sugawara-kun. 
from a psychological standpoint, what's a key reason our memories can differ from reality? Forgetfulness, memory bias, lack of sleep. Memory bias? That's it. It's a type of cognitive bias that can impair or even alter your memories. Specifically, the name of the phenomenon in question is called false memory. Like the name implies, it's a case where our brain may generate memories that simply aren't true. Wow. Maybe I should ask if I could borrow his notes. <laughs> there you go. Come on. Darn it. I need my knowledge up. Oh. Still, if your subconscious desire manifests as a memory, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I didn't see what he said. Where's my log? The difference between inaccurate memories and the facts can lead to a lot of confusion. Gotcha. Well, it's kind of like... Have you ever seen My Cousin Vinny? Grades are out. Oh gosh, this is not going to go well. Little higher than the average score. Yeah. All right. So we got Charm maxed out. Which means we can definitely finish on, right? Didn't we have to have her... At like max or something crazy stupid. Any word from Akechi? Nothing. But tomorrow is the start of the school festival. Will this be okay? If Akechi-kun declines our offer, we won't have a guest. Huh? That's what you're worried about? I appreciate your con the concern, but it will be fine. I just need to get Akechi-kun to agree to this somehow. Yep. What's that guy up to anyways? He hasn't done anything since he said he was gonna go into hiding. I'm not sure. I'll try explaining the circumstances surrounding the school festival to him again. Hopefully he can give me a response by the end of the day. I'll let you know if I make any progress on that front. Alright. Not like I give two craps about a kitchy anyway. <laughs> Speaking of, there he is. Welcome home. Honey, I'm home. Why are you here? <laughs> da, da, da. Honey, I'm home. You're back awfully late. Oh, come on. You didn't laugh. Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. We had a difference of opinion. What are your thoughts, Representative Shido? Oh gosh. You can see that guy. That, that look that Sojiro just gave him. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. That man's voice. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. This is an important undertaking. Yet. And one Nine. I to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish nope. criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people mm -mm. as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Your natural duty as a politician is to uphold policy. Rampant political scandals. Thieves on the loose. As sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. That's why I don't like politics. There he goes. Now he's starting to remember. I feel like I've met that man somewhere before. What are you standing there staring off into space for? You're creepy. <laughs> it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're standing too. <laughs> I like the sassy answers. Standing here is my job. That politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. Nope. Think, boss? Nope. Sorry. Wasn't listening. Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. Don't like politicians? True nature? You're on the thieves' side? Don't like politicians? It isn't about liking or disliking him. It's more about how he suggests the phantom thieves be crushed when they've yet to be arrested. If this Sakumara incident was not the Phantom Thieves, 
If they only change the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. <laughs> but they are innocent. Are you a fanboy? <laughs> I knew there was something special about you. You got him to laugh. Ever since the first time we met, I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy, and ah, uh, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you Here we go. I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. Let's go. So we got a catchy. The kid was going on about some real complicated stuff. He's probably a fair bit smarter than you, huh? Hey, I'm a very smart individual. Oh, I didn't notice I had gotten a response from Akechi kun He accepted the lecture invitation. I heard. Hmm? Really? Either way, the real issue is what we do next. The lecture is on the afternoon of the second day, yes? Wait, you're coming to our school festival? It's during my exam week, so I'll be able to go in the afternoon. Can you afford that distraction? How's your studying going? Decently. <laughs> Incidentally, will that counselor be at the festival as well? Oh, Dr. Maruki? Probably. I see. Finally, I shall witness the skills for myself. Perhaps I should prepare a gift. They say first impressions are everything. <laughs> I don't know if he'll even be there. If anything gets confirmed, I'll drop you a line. Much obliged. You want to come too, Futaba? Come on, it'll be fun. Seriously? I don't see why not. We should all walk around together tomorrow. It sounds good. At a time like this? This is a perfect chance for us to relax, though. How do- Um, you sure you're okay? It seems a little soon. Yeah, I am. Thank you. I bet- I've just always dreamed of walking around my school festival with friends. I suppose if you say it like that, I can resign myself to enjoying our time there, too. Thanks, Haru. It's my pleasure. Okay. <sighs> Thirsty for info. So she wants to hang out, but doesn't look like she's going to max out. Um, I should probably hang out with Hifumi, but my problem is I really need some money. So I probably should go work, actually. Where's my calendar? Calendar? I can go work. Discru job detail. Um, only boys. Okay. Interesting. Compassionate. So, does that boost kindness then? Because I have... Wrong button. I need to boost knowledge, guts, and kindness. And then I'm done. Hmm. I could really stand to work. Hey. I really need to work. <sighs> mm, okay, I'm gonna go work. So I need to go, wait, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Calendar, I can work at Crossroads and I can work at uh, Oronobeko. So I need to go work at Crossroads because Oronobeko is not gonna work for me anymore. So let's just go to Crossroads. Oh, honey. I'm not gonna hang out with Oya, I need to work. Yep, kindness. Yep, and that means we should- we might get another, um, daggum thing. A couple more requests. Or at least a request. Oh. Customers seem to be enjoying themselves. Make sure you learn a lot from Lala's hospitality. Yep. Evening. Oh. You're in a good mood today. We'll have a seat. Oh, honey. Is the boss you've been having problems with, right? Not anymore. I don't know what happened, but it's like he's a changed man. I'm sorry for everything, and then apologize in tears to each one of us. He went from being the man his subordinates hate most to becoming the perfect ideal boss. You don't suppose... Do you think the Phantom Thieves did something to help me? Who knows? If they did, though, you have a lot to be grateful to them about. Hey, hey. Did you hear? Yes, I heard. 
Seems like we successfully changed that man's heart. <laughs> you silly man. Right then. <laughs> Get a bunch of orders coming up. Thanks for your help. A miner like you should probably be getting home around now. There you go. We got some good moolah. It's easier to see a customer's face. The place is so cramped. Much, much more dependable. There we go. Wanna head back? Yep. And then apparently we have our school festival. So that's a thing. Went down even further. Yay. <laughs> the festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Anim Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. Mm hmm. What do you normally do at a school festival? Good question, Futaba. At the exhibits and eat stuff. <laughs> no set rules for this kind of thing. Just walk around and hang out, like when we went to the beach. Ryuji's right. Just enjoy yourself. We need to stay on our toes. Just enjoy yourself. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you are so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get trapped. All right. <laughs> now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um. <sighs> you seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You <laughs> mentioned that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone. Couldn't find my water. This will be a great change of pace from all the nasty stuff lately. Heck yeah. Shall we head off to the stands then? Let's do it. All right. This is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good. From what I've heard. <laughs> a great one. Follow me. Takoyaki? <laughs> New customers! I'll show you all to your seat. So, it's your class's stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? <laughs> it's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. That was all bullshit. <laughs> here she goes. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. <laughs> Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? What happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? <laughs> well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. Mentai cheese? We're out of cod row. Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. <laughs> that doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. You probably should have. I can see that. You think you're making a scene. Then, what would you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. Uh, let's forget about the <laughs> octopus and get back on track. Oh my gosh. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I don't blame her for that. I even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. 
He knew too much. Alright. I mean, he kind of did, but still. Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being tampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. <laughs> yep, for real. <laughs> that is possible. Is Tucky already done? <laughs> I'm of the same mind. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechikuni's plan is. Thank you for the wait. Ooh, it's fresh made. Why? I heard a microwave go off. Well, it's not like I was expecting <laughs> crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. I is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. Mm, but all of them are misshapen. Oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going for it? <laughs> it's Russian roulette. <laughs> Think it'll be spicy? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, everyone's all here. I catch you. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. <laughs> but people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. <laughs> I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up, so I escaped to where there weren't any people. I love how he just steals one. <gasps> the special one. Let's just call this my performance fee. But it's fine. Mm. It's quite the. <laughs> <laughs> One bite is a bad idea. My throat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let that be a question of the day. Do you like spicy foods? Because I like spicy food to an extent. But I like to taste my food too. I like a little bit of kick and a little bit of just other flavor. <laughs> well then, I'll, I'll see you uh, t t tomorrow. <laughs> oh, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. <laughs> it's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. <gasps> oh my gosh. Did he truly come to simply check the venue? <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was funny. There was a Mongolian restaurant that we used to go to. Uh, it's since closed down. But the way that it worked is you basically... They had everything laid out frozen in buffet style. And you would pile up your bowls however exactly you wanted them. With whatever sauces you wanted. And then you would go up to a big circular like hibachi style table. Or grill, rather. And they would cook it right there. In a big circle. It was really cool, the concept of it. And the food was really good. But yeah. They would do... They had four sauces that didn't have any quote-unquote spice to them. Um, and they were labeled with fires. And so they were like fires with the thin crust over top. And then... My dad would always get at least one scoop of the four, four flame <laughs> to go with whatever else he was making that day. But yeah. 
What will his next move be? Oh? Wait, uh, Yusuke something? What did he say about Yusuke? No, no, no! But Yusuke's missing. Where'd he wander off to? Always doing whatever he pleases. Think he's checking out the festival stalls. Well, I'm sure he'll be fine. This is Yusuke we're talking about. Let's head home. Um. Excuse me. Are you Dr. Takuto Maruki, correct? Uh, yes. Uh, um, yes. <laughs> My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm a student at the Fine Arts Division of Kosei. Hi. I do apologize for interrupting your day, but ever since Ryuji and An first spoke of you, I've grown quite intrigued. Now I wish to speak with you as well. For you. Oh, Sakamoto kun and, Ta and Takamaki san? Quite. Well, I'm flattered that you've taken an interest in me. You're here about the counseling, correct? Indeed. Correct. Why does he get so close? He's so demanding. Now teach me how to unshackle the human heart and glimpse into its endless abyss. Uh, hold, whoa, hold on there. How should I put this? Your enthusiasm is appreciated, but I suspect there's a huge misunderstanding about what I do. <laughs> I apologize, I simply couldn't, extain my, couldn't contain my excitement. Would you permit me to witness your canceling skills in action? Uh, that's not really allowed. <laughs> How, about it? How about this? Why not try out my canceling yourself instead? Me? <laughs> of course, there's no charge. All you'd have to do is chat with me for a bit. Well, then. Very well. You and I shall go head to head. <laughs> it's not what he meant. I'm not sure what you think happens in counseling, but uh, there won't be any of that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. I see, so you were Madarame's sons. It's in the past. How curious, I never imagined counseling could to be like this. Well, uh... well, I'd say this is less counseling and more building a rapport. When someone first comes to see me, we always start with them telling me a bit about themselves. A method of self-reflection that relies on speaking with another person so as to sort through one's own emotions. That's rather similar to internal cross-examination I perform when working on my art. There really shouldn't be any cross-examining in, in a proper counseling session, though. <laughs> I just do my best to guide patients in a positive direction so they can improve their skills. Their lives, excuse me. At the very least, I talk them through their problems so they can make the correct choices for themselves. However, if you're the one leading them to the conclusions, are they truly making the choices for themselves? Isn't that just submitting to another person's will? In all honesty, I'm sure there are people out there who think that. But life in this world confines people to certain frames of mind sometimes, and without them even realizing it. If I can help lift the weight off their shoulders and free their minds, I believe the results are worth it. Indeed. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much for speaking with me. This has been a most valuable experience. Oh. Before you go, Kitagawa-kun, what would you say is your greatest wish in life at the moment? Would it be to become a successful artist? I... No, that's not it. The only desire I have for my art is for it to improve through my own efforts. I see. Then what would you wish for? I would wish for the world to see my mother's painting for the masterpiece that it is, no matter how briefly. And if at all possible, I would also wish to meet a wonderful master. One who would take me in and guide my brush with care. Hmm. I see. All right. At any rate, I must be going now, so please excuse me. I hope we meet again someday. That was nice. At least he finally got the chance to talk to him. Well, then. Tomorrow's the moment of truth. A catchy's panel. I'm excited. Apologies for suddenly disappearing like that. The legend of the lost Inari has come to an end. Where the heck were you? Did you seriously get lost? I saw a man who resembled Dr. Maruki, so I went to see him. So was he there? Did you go to his counseling? Yes, it was certainly not what I was expecting. Once this is all over, I think I'd like to go to another session. Try not to cause him any trouble, alright? I'll do my best. Are you all at home? I'm at home. Are you still at school, Yusuke? No, I just got back to the dorm. I'm getting ready for bed. Already? Isn't that unusual? Tomorrow is... Is that unusual? Tomorrow is a Ketchikun's panel, after all. An early night means he'll be able to concentrate tomorrow. That's true. We'll need to stay focused tomorrow. We have to stay calm, no matter what he says. Right, I'll keep that in mind. It's really up to Makoto to get as much information as we can from Akechi. 
We'll have to make sure we don't miss anything. Photo time! Aww. Oh, that's a cute photo. Man, even yaki soba looks high class and hotter is eating it. Please, you're exaggerating. I think this is my first time having yaki soba from a food stand, though. It was more delicious than I'd imagined. It was. It wasn't the instant stuff, but still good. Yeah, I don't know why, but food from a stall is always weirdly tasty. Speaking of which, where are the pictures of us on? Hmm? You got pics of us too, right? How about the one you took of his yakisoba with the big red mountain of ginger? Oh! Now that went straight into the trash. I had dried seaweed all my, over my teeth. Oh, that's funny. Okay, we can't go anywhere. Can we do anything? Let's check plant chan. Plant chan is fine. <laughs> And yes, I stole that from Frank. It's fine. Uh, the thieves' den has been updated. That's interesting. Um, glass. I haven't seen the crossword in a little bit. Um, what books do I have? I have batting science, which is baseball, film buffs, reborn sky tree, shrines, list of pages. Aquariums, obscure spots. Learn about leading a charmed life. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we don't really need to be sitting here through this. He's just reading it. We already beat. We already finished it. Do we max it out? Oh, I'm an idiot. That was charm. I was thinking kindness in my brain. Oh well. So that was a waste. It's fine. It's fine. You know, Ash just didn't pull a exclamation point blonde or anything. You know, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, a catchy! <laughs> We'd appreciate if you could tell us about your experiences with the notorious Amanda Seaman. Dun dun dun. If you could let us hear more about your actual investigative process. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy on me. How much do you think he knows? He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why Bingo. Does that change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Because he did. Spoiler alert. <laughs> totally kidding, by the way. I mean, she is a Nijima. Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? He's got a good point, though. I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. 
So he does know. Dun dun dun! <laughs> <laughs> but I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. Is he about to spill the beans? Pipe down. He's lying, right? But if it's the truth, you're not going to ask me who they are. I love how I sit in my chair like Futaba does. My feet are literally right here in my lap. <laughs> are you sure you can share that with us? If that makes sense. Under my lap? <laughs> so announcing that here would pose a problem. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? Quite a confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. No way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are. Oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but <laughs> we can take a break. Well, yeah, there we go. Save the day, but you thank you, phone. For this interruption? Okay. <laughs> Don't troll me online. There room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. Oh, we're going back there. Yay. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? <laughs> Did you set this up? We only have ten minutes, you know. <laughs> that turd. What do you want to talk about? No. That's gotta be shot. <laughs> I have video footage too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world too. Yes. Us too? It's not just all of you. I am aware of that world, too. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? <laughs> I found out about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Dude, it's the app. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. It's not us. No matter what you say, my belief won't change. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. I didn't think it would end up like this. We didn't kill anyone. I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. Has a person you too? This cat. <laughs> Mona. I swear it just talked. Yeah, it did. Yeah, you did. Donna, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is 
it's true that you know things that I don't. <laughs> Say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too, but I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, or we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure, and those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> well, there's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an MO. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? Mm. I can't overlook such a grave mistake, which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Say what I mean, he's got a point. Ryuji does have a point. I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you phantom thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai-san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Sai-san can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just cause they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. Yeah, no. <laughs> Let me think it over. You're demanding a lot. Is this the only way? You're demanding a lot. I see. I thought I was making a lot of concessions myself. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. You should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel. Correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. He had complete control over us. He did. Hey, they're going. So just watch what happens. Was that really our best course of action? Hmm. 
they totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of them, but to think it would play out like this. So we get played like a fiddle. <laughs> He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Luigi. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? <laughs> What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Definitely so. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. Okay. Um, he had uh, a calling card from the front of the <laughs> Why did Futaba have something like this? Oh, he found Futabas! I forgot about that! The card was delivered. We can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring... Oh, I forgot about that! Moreover... I knew it. She's... Oh, God. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Host festival party? I thought this thing was over. <laughs> eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. Huh? Except for Kasumi. Aren't you going to the post festival party? I was about to head out. I'm not sure yet. Run into each other on our own. Why not go together? People say these kinds of events should be enjoyed with others, so let's go have some fun. Okay. <laughs> You're cute. I like you. <laughs> we can do this. This is fun. It seems like it's already begun. Let's get in there, senpai. <laughs> I love how she just grabs your arm. That's so cute. What is this? Oh. Questions? We have dance club? <laughs> Apparently, yep. Yeah. Oh, look at him go! <laughs> Is this a reference to the games? The dancing games? It's showtime? Let's bust a move. <laughs> oh gosh, please don't be a mini game. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Uh oh. Am I about to punch a dude in the face? Please say yes. <laughs> I'm gonna punch somebody in the face by the end of this, aren't I? <laughs> I have a feeling. Anime cutscene! Yay!
Yeah, I don't have to punch a dude in the face yet. That's crazy. <laughs> Hello, Mona. So again, huh? She's a ballerina. Straight up. Like, I knew she was a gymnast, but she's a straight up ballerina. You're on. Or somebody with the same voice actress, one of the two. <laughs> I love that. I love the party with Kasumi to cool off a bit outside. That was so exhausting, but what a blast. I feel like I danced my heart out back there. I could tell as great as I expected. Thank you. Wow. That dance was amazing. I know, right? I was totally blown away. Yukiko. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, in this game. <laughs> uh, it's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. Want me to walk you? Thank you. I'll be all right though. No. <laughs> Let me love you. Especially with you. Okay, their relationship is totally adorable. And I totally 1000% ship it. <laughs> the gym's quieted down. Looks like the dance is over. I have to head home. What is the sharing thing? The post-festival party is about to begin. Would you like to go together? I tried to think about what happened earlier, but it's gotten me nowhere. So I could use a change of pace. How about it? Looks like I received some messages from Ryuji. Let's go hang out with Haru. <laughs> Turn around and go back to the gym. Excellent job, dance club. Excellent job. Phew. I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about what Akechi-kun said. It'll be all right. I'm worried. Don't think about that now. It'll be all right. <laughs> it feels like nothing bad could ever happen when you say that. And now it's time for your favorite Okay, are we finally going to figure what this thing out? <laughs> thing is a thing is about. Cuz sharing means caring. <laughs> caring means sharing. Oh dear. Oh, he's going to choose? I wonder who it will be. How about that fluffy haired girl over there? I choose you. Fluffy haired girl. <laughs> huh? Is he looking this way? Yeah, he is. Come on, <laughs> Come on Haru. Yeah, he is. It's because you're cute. <laughs> oh. Come, come. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh no. Huh? 
That's not terrifying at all. Haru's in trouble. I need to change the subject. Do you have a boyfriend? Of course she is. That's a very, very uh, touchy subject there. <laughs> I feel so bad for her. A little bit, yeah. I still can't believe you said that. You were in trouble. Huh? Right. At any rate, I'm not sure what I would have done without you. Thank you for saving me. Of course, madam. You're a mysterious person, but you're so reliable. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Nope. Not I said the fly. I'm worried about what happened with the But I have to say, my first post festival party was quite fun. Well, I guess it's my last too. Here. I'd like you to have this. Oh, she gave me an SP booster. Bought it earlier. It looks delicious. No, that little giggle. That was cute. That was cute. Don't compare it to Kasumi, but that was cute. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, though, we'll be able to uh, save up here in a second. Oh, Futaba. You took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Well, Futaba. Futaba? What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside. So oh, yeah, no, we're about to get confronted by Soul Zero. This is going to be a long episode. Sorry, guys. <laughs> of safety they're saying whatever they want so how's the investigation progressing any clues yet nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet what's going on here didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case and i thought i told you that failure won't be tolerated just because she's sure about it doesn't mean she's close Turkey. If things continue at this rate, never mind the promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. Rude. Yes, sir. I had high expectations for you, but it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the She's operation. She's probably before. mid to late twenties, and her youngest. Please. Before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to mm -mm. Mm -mm. We can't let this Dude makes me want to punch him in the face. Turn. I'll make myself clear. Or sick our sin on him. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> My aunt is calling me. <laughs> I will answer that later. Do you 
answer. I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes. Everything is proceeding. That sly grin just gives me the willies. Ugh. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want. <laughs> so, what is this? That... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're saying anything why did you keep it i mean it was memorable explain explain can't tell me <laughs> explain and she's shutting down okay. if this keeps up futaba i'll explain everything i'm talking to futaba here you know I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they trigger a change of heart in you? <laughs> I feel so bad for her, the kid. She's just basically having an anxiety attack right now. Mom died. I, there was no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it. But I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. That's good parenting. That is good parenting. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as mom's research. They changed my cognition. Seriously? Uh, Okaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too. <coughs> oh gosh, where did that come from? When did you notice? When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere. And even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> at first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. And you were right. You were right. Still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlooked such a drastic change in your behavior. Good job, Soljiro. I love him. I think that Wakaba's research and the phantom thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. Back in the day, I used to be a government official. I forgot about that. To be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked in. That's how they knew each other. She said something odd when we were out drinking that one of these days she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. That is rather bizarre. Anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should of course you did. Taba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart with a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? You're sharp. You think this is a game? You know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! 
control? Mm, there it is. <laughs> He's the ringleader. He's the ringleader. This is no joke. Are you serious? You really are a phantom thief? Oh, for crying out loud. Poor Sojiro. Sojiro. So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. <laughs> no, right? I feel bad for him. I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? Mm hmm. It's getting juicy for him. I remember it now. Stop this nonsense. Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal. Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? I can't with this scene. I can't. Could I do? All I was able to do was run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it'd somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big lectured even yelled at you kids and i end up getting consoled by her god real pathetic aren't i you're not pathetic sojiro it's not true i mean the one who killed mom's the one at fault <sighs> i see don't worry even if you are the real phantom thieves i have no intention of reporting or kicking you out yeah. I mean, who would believe such a story? Uh, I mean, fair. <laughs> you it's impossible to explain that you're the phantom thieves. Ah, uh, it's literally how we started the game, getting caught red-handed. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't you get it? If by chance you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba... Me. Then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on. Time to eat. <laughs> all that yelling's gotten me hungry. Ugh. Random hair. All right. <laughs> if he I love Sojiro. That would have jeopardized our operation. I love Sojiro. about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. What? He knows everything? You can't be kidding me! And he finally gets to say it! <laughs> Wait, are you okay? Did he report you or anything? We likely wouldn't be receiving the messages if he wasn't. I have a feeling the boss was no ordinary man. But he didn't recommend you turn yourselves in, did he? I think if that's the case, we can consider him a new ally. <laughs> I'm more curious about what he mentioned to you. You mean how our enemy might be the same people who targeted Futaba's mother? Yes, yeah, she was killed by a mental shutdown. The same method used by the culprit we pursue now. Wait a second, though. Didn't you say Boz had to run from it all? Does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who could do that? Who do you think the culprit could be? Government official. You ain't letting your imagination... Ain't you letting your ru imagination run, run wild a bit? But it would make sense. Wait a sec. If you're right, then wouldn't the police be working for him, too? That's not impossible. This is getting too big for me to even think about. Can we really win this? Can I please save? Thank you. I guess the chief had an inkling now after all. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, you subscribe if you are new, and you leave comments down below. I very much appreciate it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Ryan Mills Gaming. Find me on Twitch and Discord as Puppy Poker Trainer. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.